Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A quick one today. Do you know the difference between faith and hope? I think it's pertinent I just give you a little definition. I call it a definition. I try to elucidate based on my understanding of scripture. Now, we'll start off with uh, this saying. You can't have faith. Okay, no, what is faith? The, the translation of faith. Before we talk about the difference. Well, faith is the Greek word pistis, which translated means belief, trust, confidence, taking as true what has been said. Now, based on that definition, you know that you can only have faith for something that you have heard or you've been told. In essence, you can only believe if you've been told. If something has been told to you, you can only believe what has been told to you. The choice is yours to believe it or not to believe it. Well, when we're saying believe it, that is taking it as true to the point that you act on it. Now, if you don't, if you've not been told or you've not heard, there's nothing for you to believe. You could now be going on assumptions. That's where hope comes in. Hope is an expectation which isn't really based on information that you have been given directly. You have not been told something, but you expect something of somebody or something. So you don't have a promise. Technically, you don't have a promise. You don't have a word. They, they might have promised somebody else. And you're latching on to that, expecting that the same will happen for or to you. Now, the, the problem with staying on hope is that the outcome is not guaranteed. See, I could promise my son I'll do something for him and he believes me. Because I tell him I'll do something for him and he believes me. And now, if somebody who was standing beside him had me make that promise and the person starts hoping that I will do the same for him, he runs into problems because I never gave him my word. It's my son I gave my word. So, his hope could be misplaced. Out of the goodness of my heart, I could decide to um, meet his hope. But I'm not obligated to do anything for him because I didn't give him my word. It's my son I gave my word. It's my son I told. So, if you come in terms of scripture, hoping that God will do something for you, Meanwhile, you've not found out that he said something to you concerning that. And on the basis of that, you have confidence. Then you are in for a big, big round of disappointment. Not from God, but it's the enemy that will tie ribs, draw circles around you. So you've got to translate from hope to faith. By going to find out and making sure God said this to you. You get to the point of knowing. You hear and know that he said this to you. Now if he says it to you, it is an ironclad guarantee. That as long as you trust him, as long as you believe him, that will be done. As long as you take what he says as truth and act as if it is true, it will be done. But hope, there's nothing you are acting on. There's nothing you are standing on as your subsistence. That he said this. And on the basis of what he said, I know that he will do it. You are just assuming it will be done because it was done for somebody else. Now, I encourage us to transmute from hope 
are going to get the word, the promise, then believe in it. And that way, ironclad guarantees. God bless you. Hallelujah.